What is God? Video 7. There's no one singular concept of God. Instead, the concept of God embodies a wide spectrum of differing views and beliefs. And these views can merge and cross over and blend with one another to form other beliefs, other perspectives. Some of these views can exist opposite one another, while some exist complementing each other. God can be thought of as a being with supernatural powers or as an abstract set of definitions. And then there can be so, so much in between, going off in all different directions. Even people who share the same faith tradition, although they believe in the same God, they don't necessarily see that God the same way. So it's impossible to have one simple concept of what God is, one single definition that we can all believe in. It's just impossible. The concept of God that each and every one of us hold is very much related to our own personal temperament. As individuals, we learn, we grow, we change, and we mature both emotionally and spiritually. And all along the way, how we understand and appreciate God will grow and change and mature as well. This can be confusing, however it can be liberating too. Liberating to know that at different times in our life, we relate to God in different ways. When we were children, we may have seen God as something of a Santa figure. And then, for some people, as they enter early adulthood, they develop a relationship with God which is more analytical and intellectual. And then, as they progress in life, they may experience difficulty or maybe illness, and they'll start to develop a more devotional relationship with God. And there can be periods in our lives when we um, have a more atheistic perspective on what God is. But it's all okay. We need God to be both a personal and impersonal God. What would the world be like if we didn't have a personal image of God? If we didn't have a God who was concerned and considerate, worried and interested in our well-being and the well-being of all his creation? In contrast, though, we can ask, what would it be like if we only had a personal God? If we only believed in a God who was authoritative, but uh, disciplining, considerate and caring, but could intervene at any point. What would it be like if there was only a personal God and no impersonal God? The truth is that there's space enough for both perspectives, for both a personal and impersonal God. The concept of God is not black or white, and thinking it is is just a human desire to simplify things, squeezing it into a framework which we believe to serve us.